Okay, so in our previous video, we identified that the formula of our reactants, lithium hydroxide and hydrobromic acid, were LiOH for lithium hydroxide and HBr. So the next step is to identify our balanced chemical reaction. So what is going to happen in this reaction? Well, you should know that hydroxide is a strong base and hydrobromic acid is one of the strong acids. So these will react together in a type of double displacement or metathesis reaction and in particular this is an acid base neutralization reaction. And so in these reactions you always have the proton from the acid coming to mix with the hydroxide base and these will form water, H2O. Um, and then finally, the other two partners, the cation uh, from the base and the conjugate um, or the anion from the acid, its conjugate base, these two will mix together to form a salt. So basically, everything is switching partners. So, um, lithium hydroxide and HBr react to form water and lithium bromide. Is this reaction balanced? Let's check. One lithium, one oxygen, two hydrogens, and one bromine on each side. So this is indeed balanced. So the next step is to look at a rice equation. And this is uh, very helpful in determining um, the new amounts of products and reactants formed after a reaction occurs. And so R stands for reaction, I stands for initial amounts. So we need to convert the original amounts given to us in the problem into moles because this is what we need to put here in our, in our I portion of our rice equation. So for lithium hydroxide, we were told that we were given 0 0.48 grams. And we can convert this to moles by dividing by the molecular weight, which is 23.94834 grams. And I got this by summing up the weights of the atoms. So this comes from the sum of the atomic weights of hydrogen, lithium, and oxygen. And you can find those numbers in the periodic table. And I've included a excerpts or a picture of those masses there. So the sum of lithium, hydrogen, and oxygen will give you 23.94834 grams. When you multiply this out, you find that you have 0 0.020 moles of lithium hydroxide. Okay, so this can go here, moles. What about HBr? Let's see. For HBr, we had 0 0.50 molar and we had 50.0 milliliters. To convert this to moles, remember that molarity equals moles over volume in liters. And so we can just plug the values in. X over how many liters is this? This is in milliliters. Just move the decimal to the left, 3. And so you have 0, 0.500 0, 0 liters. And this is 0 0.025 moles of HBr. So to continue filling in our rice of HBr we have 0 0.025 and for water that's not applicable and we have zero amount of lithium bromide. So in the next portion we are ready to look at reaction stoichiometry and identify which of our two reactants is our limiting reactant because that will determine how much lithium bromide will be made.